The ABC of the Digital Vision by Pastor Cesar Castellanos. I have seen the work Pastor Cesar has done in Bogota. It is both an inspiration and a challenge for every servant of God around the world by Dr. Derek Prince. Prologue, A Glorious Encounter As he was traveling, it happened that he was approaching Damascus and suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus. Acts chapter 9, verse 3 to 5. Living a full life as a human being depends on an encounter. And an encounter with Jesus, this is the greatest experience anyone can have. Knowing Jesus gives us eternal life, set us free, and allow us to restore our relationship with the Father and enjoy the fullness of His blessings. Before meeting Jesus, the Apostle Paul was known of Saul of Tarsus, a persecutor of the Christian church who, because of his religious zeal, thought that Christianity was a threat to the Jewish way of the life. The word describes his attitude towards the church. Now Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked for letters from him to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, both men and women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. However, while on his way to Damascus, the most extraordinary thing happened. A light surrounded him and he came face to face with Jesus. After his encounter, Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 he became the most fervent, fervent preacher of the gospel, bringing the message of life to all corners of the earth. What was it that brought about such a radical change in Paul? An encounter with Jesus. We see that the same was true of other great men of God, such as Jacob, Moses, and Peter. They were all transformed by the power of encounter and receive a powerful calling that enabled them to complete God's purpose for their lives. It is important to understand that one of the outcomes of an encounter is the call to ministry. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. But get up and stand up on your feet. For this purpose I have appeared to you to appoint you a minister and a witness not only to the things which you have seen, but also to the things to the things in which I will appear to you, rescuing you from the, G- the Jewish people and from the Gentiles, to whom I am sending you, to open their eyes so that they may turn from the darkness to light and from the dominion of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and on an inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. Acts chapter 26 verse 15 to 18 I know some people will try to implement the vision as though it was simple method, expecting to see great results simply by following a sequence of steps. Nevertheless, they forget about the most important thing, that everything, including growth in the ministry, begins with Jesus. Allow me to ask you a question. Have you had a personal encounter with the author of life? Before reading this book, where you will find the details of the vision and learn how to put it into practice effectively, I want to remind you of the of one things of one thing. All success in the ministry depends on your relationship with Jesus. Therefore, I urge you to seek him with all your heart. He longs to use powerfully in order to extend the kingdom of God through your life.